Previously on the Go Get Yours review channel, I took a little shopping trip to my local B&M store. B&M is a home store that resides here within the UK. To which, when I went there, I managed to pick up these Goodman's wireless neckband Bluetooth earphones. So our mission today is to test these earphones out and see if they're any good. So stay tuned. guys and welcome back i'm ed from the go get yours review channel goodman's now we're in the era of innovative new technology will these goodman's earphones match the quality and performance of other wireless headsets that are currently on the market just now well let's go ahead and let's find out first of all outside the box we have some features to the bottom left hand corner obviously with the fact that it's got bluetooth it says it's got six hours of playback well we'll soon see about that and it's got hands-free call options there is an initial image of the Goodman's Bluetooth earphones just above, but to the back, there are no specifications really, just some listed features, stuff we're going to explore real soon. And just below, we've got a contents list. So no, no specifications on the box, and I think, do you know what, just a little bit of info on these particular earphones might have really helped, especially for the consumer. Let's have a look inside, and lifting up the magnetic lid, yeah. These earphones look very, very presentable. The earphone set doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm not really like wowed by them so far. Hmm, I don't know. Let's have a look at the description inside. Oh gosh. So again, no specifications. It's just basically repeated features. I mean, you do have a few bits of information of where the buttons lie. It's not really detailed. Can't see the buttons on the picture. But do you know what? Top marks for presentability, but as a consumer, I want to see a bit of information on the box or in or around it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and let's have a look at the contents, shall we? So as you guys know, we've got the earphones to the top. Let's just place them aside just for now. But underneath, we have a Goodman's quick start guide and instruction manual. We've got the guarantee. There is two pairs of ear cushions, which seems to be I think these ones are large and these ones are small. We have a micro USB charge cable and something that's not on the contents list. It's a jack to micro USB cable. I'm guessing straight away, is it to use the earphones as a wired earphone set? Hmm. Like I said, it wasn't actually in the content list on the outside of the box. That's a bonus. Let's just move this stuff aside for now. And first of all, let me just confirm that these earphones are compatible with Android, iPod, iPhone, iPad, PC, and laptop. Let's pop the cover off. Now, I've got to say right away, I don't actually like this gray color. It would have been better really if they would have designed it maybe in black or maybe gloss black. It would have gave it an overall premium look. So the bottom half of this headband is in plastic. The top is made out of rubber. So the flexibility is like, Wow, massive, look at that flex. Who's got a neck that size? Woo. In addition, focusing on the earphones themselves. Again, that plastic, hmm, I'm not too keen on it. It just kind of look like, a, I don't know, pound shop earphones? And whether it's going for that stainless steel look on the end, oh, it is actually stainless steel. Ah, oh, it would have, you know what? That stainless steel end would have actually stood out if they would have been in black. So yeah, the colour I'm not pleased about, but you also get another pair of earbuds that obviously come already fitted. So these ones are, I think, medium. With the other earbuds set included, which are large and small, that makes three pairs of earbuds. Small, medium and large. Where are you going? So first of all, to the side, a micro USB charge port, an on off, pause play and answer call button. Above that, we have an LED indicator. We have a volume control and next and previous track selection. And above that, we have a single pin microphone. Pairing with these Goodman's earphones is real easy. First of all, we're just gonna go ahead and hold and press the power button. Hold it for around about three seconds and it should go into pairing mode. And you should see an indication of this via the LED indicator light just above the power button. Go ahead and use your selected device. I'm using the Samsung S9 Plus today. And we're just gonna go ahead and select the Bluetooth. It should come up with Goodman's N band, did like that, and there you go. Connected for calls and audio, and it also shows the battery indicator, which is 70% battery remaining. That's pretty good. Oh, let's have a little try, shall we? Wonder if they're going to be comfortable. Let's have a go. I've been testing these Goodman's Bluetooth earphones now for around about three days. 
While listening to music, I found that they sat pretty good within the ears. They sealed any outside noise. And both earbuds and neckband never once fell out of place. Audio wasn't too bad. At its highest volume, bass was okay. Not too over the top. Highs were good, but the mids and lows were a bit too loud. They were overpowering all the other tones, and that was apparent playing most genres of music. They in turn fell uncomfortable after a few hours of playback, giving me a bit of a headache, with the audio only ever improving once the levels lowered to around about 50%, which to me is way, way too low for music playback. One thing I will say is that the surround sound was amazing. His earphones had no deviation in polarity between both drivers. It would be perfect with, you know, ASMR videos, ASMR movies. And yes, you can use these with a PlayStation 4, although you won't be able to use the microphone. The battery in this Goodman's neckband lasted around 5 hours out of the 6 hours specified, with all audio running at 100%. I got to around 10 meters before the Bluetooth signal cut off, and when the battery died, I grabbed the supplied micro USB to 3.5mm cable, plugged it in, continued my music listening experience. By the way, you can also plug in the micro USB cable and keep these earphones powered during music playback. One last thing I've got to grumble about is the location of the buttons. With the neckband sitting on my shoulders and the buttons facing down, I got to say that I preferred them sitting on the top for better access. Oh, and just one more thing, yeah, connecting to a PC and laptop. The audio sync was a bit of a fraction out from the audio. I did notice this more while doing audio voiceover and doing editing on my videos. So yeah, a bit out of sync when you're using these earphones wirelessly with a PC or laptop. But overall, if I had to rate these Goodman's earphones today out of my usual rating out of 10, then I think that i got to give these earphones a 6 out of 10. What I'll do guys is I'll leave some suggested earphone links in the video description down below. I personally recommend these, go and check them out and go get yours. While you're there guys, please share this video wherever possible. Smash that like button, please subscribe. And don't forget guys to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys over on my new video coming real soon. And well, thanks for watching. Peace!